The Properties button is what you'll use to edit the overall properties about the page you're editing. This is everything from the name of the page, to the URL, to the metadata. The first tab, Standard Properties, is just the basics. The name of your page, which will appear after your website's name in your visitor's browser window when they visit the page. If you'd like to launch this page to the public at a certain date and time, you can enter the date in here and the page won't be available until then to the public. Usually, you just leave this set as default. The Page Paths and Location tab is where you can customize the URL. The URL is the area after your www domain address. For example, your About Us page may be www.yourdomain.co.nz slash about us. Your full URL is displayed where it says Canonical URL. If your website isn't live yet, this will be in the format of yourwebsite.co.nz .123online.co.nz Don't worry though, once your site goes live, your actual URL will display. You can also set up additional page URLs. For example, let's say you want yourdomain.co.nz slash about to point to your actual URL, yourdomain.co.nz slash about us. You can enter slash about in the additional page URL section, and then click add path. When the visitor goes to yourdomain.co.nz slash about, they will then get redirected to the slash about dash us page. This feature is particularly handy when you've upgraded your website and your old website has different URLs for your pages. What happens in the background is when you do this it adds a 301 redirect. Google uses these to keep track of old page URLs. The SEO slash attributes section is mainly used for search engine optimization purposes, or SEO. Here you can define the meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. These areas are called meta tags. Meta tags are basically invisible pieces of code that Google and other search engines use to index your website. Google basically looks at your metadata along with the keywords in your actual content to determine what your page is actually about. Meta title. This title should be your page name. This will also be the name that comes up when your page is listed in Google. Try and include a couple of relevant keywords to describe your page. Google looks at the meta titles very carefully when indexing your pages. Meta description. Your meta description is the description that comes up in Google to describe your page and should be one or two sentences long. You want to keep this very keyword heavy as well. Meta keywords. Your keyword list should consist of 10 to 12 keywords relevant to your industry. You know your business or your organization, so try and put yourself in your customer's shoes. What kind of words would they use to find you or someone in your industry? Google has a great keyword tool to help you come up with related keywords and keyword phrases. Just do a Google search for Google keyword tool and then type in a keyword and this will tell you related keywords and the volume people actually use to search for these keywords in the search engine. You'll want to use your own knowledge combined with what's revealed in Google's keyword tool to form your list. Your keyword list should consist mainly of industry related keywords as well as one or two location specific keywords for example Window Repairs Auckland or Window Repairs Sydney. Keywords in your content. Google pays a lot of attention to the content you put on your pages. Simply go through the text on your website, particularly your home page, and add the keywords into the body of your text. Importantly, use your header 1, header 2, and header 3 titles on every page. Make sure that when you do, you include keywords in these titles. You can use these titles by simply highlighting text in your content and selecting the header 1, header 2 or header 3 
in the Format drop-down box. Get other websites to link to yours. This is very important. The more credible websites that link to yours, the more popular your website appears to Google, so the more likely it is to be highly ranked. Links from highly ranking websites will yield you a better result. In particular, you want websites within your industry to link to yours. Our own 123 online website ranks very, very highly. If we've designed your website, we'll gladly put a link to your site on our client comments page. This should also help your website climb the search rankings. If you're not already on this page, simply email your project manager with a few comments about the service you've received from us and we'll put your project up on this page. Update your website often. Google rewards websites that are updated often with relevant keyword rich content because they want to list the most up to date sites first. If you're serious about optimization, be sure to add new keyword rich content regularly and also make sure that you're making changes to your homepage on a regular basis. Get a blog. The best way of keeping your content fresh is to put a blog on your homepage. If you haven't already, make sure you order a blog from our apps marketplace. Get professional help. Search engine optimization is a big area. There are literally thousands of things you can do to improve your search rankings. Search engine optimization is a fantastic form of marketing because it's a continual source of incredibly relevant and free leads. If you're interested in talking to somebody about it, email support and we'll get you in touch with our search engine optimization partner company who can help.